everybody. Hi, what's going on Newberry, South Carolina and surrounding counties? Hi, everybody. It's always interesting when you're going, am I on? So welcome everybody. I just am here uh, on the house site talking about our upcoming summer camps. Yes, Janet's Planet and the Astro Academy will be back this summer. Uh, the first week, July 12th through 16th, is for our younger uh, kids uh, up 7 to 11, 8 to 12. And then our second week, we're going to really target some of our middle schoolers, early high school students. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about what you can expect. Uh, registration is now open, so either go to Newberry Opera House's website or call them and say, hey, tell me more. Uh, but the first week, uh, it will be back. I'm sure you guys all remember the lovely and wonderful Dr. Lori Bradner, a.k.a. Oopsie. She will be with me. And uh, again, you can expect more kind of wacky, amazing things. But we've got some new things. We're going to make our own cardboard like replica of the International Space Station. Yep, that's right. We're going to be doing origami and see how NASA engineers actually incorporate origami into their design process and then of course what space camp would be a space camp without us launching some rockets and even more interesting than last time if you guys attended last time and remember those water rockets oh ho, ho, just you wait and see we'll talk with an astronaut we will zoom with a fantastic array of engineers and scientists during the week and by week's end we will celebrate with a proper astronaut graduation in week two you guys the older set of guys and gals are going to be focused on lots of cyber security we've got fantastic guests who are coming to assist with that we will also you'll also be building your very own rockets what and then we will head down to the football field and launch them uh <clears throat> we're crossing our fingers again this is uh you will be signing if you sign up for that second week camp you will be signing a release we are hoping that some area pilots along with the eaa and civil air patrol pilots uh will be able to take those students possibly up for a flight if not all the participants in that second uh week of uh of camps, uh, at least some of the most rigorous and most ardent of astronaut uh, candidates that we have that week. So we're hoping to do that. Again, there are lots of restrictions still in place because of COVID. So we'll keep you posted on that. That is our hope. Uh, we will have representatives from Civil Air Patrol and the EAA talking to the students about the programs they can get involved in and pay get free flights and learn a lot about aviation. So the second week is going to be focused a lot on aeronautics, aviation, and cybersecurity. Uh, again, I hope that you'll come. I am trying to see here if I see some questions. I see uh, some of you here. Thank you for tuning in. One of the questions that I was sent earlier is, uh, what do you do in your free time? And I sort of laughed at that. I don't know about any of you. In the last 15 months, I don't think I know of such a thing. It's like life has been busier than ever uh, in this very bizarre time that we find ourselves. So if I get a free moment anywhere, it's usually spent in the backyard, sitting in my hammock with my puppies constantly bringing me a ball and conversing with my husband or playing with my grandbabies, two of my very favorite things in the world. I started Janet's Planet over 20 years ago. It was 1996 and I looked around and thought, hmm, there aren't any real women out here touting science. Where are they? I could find Bill Nye the Science Guy and Beekman's World, but I didn't see that female that was touting science. And so, yeah, that's how Janet's Planet began. Uh, it's been a slow burn and grown organically over time. Uh, it was in 2019 when we sort of beta tested this whole idea of a space camp and Newberry Opera House gave us that opportunity to do so. So for ever grateful to the town of Newberry. So if you have, say if you've got 
a son, daughter, niece, nephew, granddaughter, grandson that loves science, tech, engineering, art, and math. It's going to be a blend of all of those things uh, during the week so that every day they will be bringing back home something that we have made or done or learned. And then by the end of that week, we will have a grand celebration of all that they have learned and all that they have comp accomplished during the week. And same goes for that second week. We are hoping to end that week with uh, taking students up into the air. I mean, how else can you know if you want to go into aerospace and aviation unless you go up? So uh, cross your fingers that uh, some of the restrictions will be lifted by summer uh, in July, and we certainly will be doing that. So as you call the Newberry Opera House, say, I was watching, I was listening to this Facebook Live thing. Janet from Janet's Planet was talking about camps and tell me more. And uh, all of the fees, the structure and everything there uh, will be online. You can see how we're handling. Uh, we'll have stations and we'll have every way to keep our hands clean and uh, we'll do as much social distancing uh, as we are required. We will be doing a lot of things outdoors which will help uh, mitigate any issues and my team especially will be following uh, all CDC guidelines as well as the Newberry Opera House. So no, no worries there, but the safety and well-being of your children will be our utmost concern. And then our next uh, real, I suppose, how should I say this? Our next real mission is to make sure that once they come, get their astronaut journal and receive their astronaut pen, <coughs> that they walk away from this experience going, oh, I want to learn more about science. Maybe I'm really good at computing and tech. Maybe that's something I'm interested in. Or you know what? They kept telling me, grown-ups, that I was a really good engineer. It is our true heart and soul and passion is to make sure that we encourage your children, students, and those, those uh, kiddos that you love that are in your sphere, just to be encouraged to stand in their inherent magnificence. And if that possibly happens through STEM or STEAM and something that gets ignited, uh, in a week of summer camp. That's why we hope you'll join us. And so we've got so much planned and we're hoping again, if we can uh, get the astronomy club uh, that is located in Columbia to come out and somewhere in that two week period, have a star party for not only for our students, but anybody who loves Newberry Opera House to come and take a look through a telescope. Truthfully, nothing nothing better than that. And so I'm going to try to uh, read a few of the comments that are coming in. Uh, somebody else asked, um, that's coming in from another page, uh, what's the most exciting part of my work? Uh, truthfully, it's, get, it's, it's seeing kids get excited, have their moment of sort of light bulb and that wonderful ignition on the launch pad and they get excited about something that and then they have this attachment and this experience with it and perhaps they'll continue following that path with their very own curiosity. We've had a very interesting uh, year. We have done tons of classes online and in hybrid models and everything else and one thing is for certain once you put some raw materials in the hands of a kid and say, hey, why don't you build me a lunar lander? You'll be surprised at what they come up with. I've seen adults go, I don't really understand. And I'm like, just give it a moment because they're thinking. And I'm telling you, they will come up th with things that will rival designs of NASA, SpaceX, and, and Blue Origins. And so that's what we want to provide, a safe space to create and experiment and really have fun with hands-on science. 
whether I've been teaching online, I've sent out multiple kits. So during the week when you sign up for this camp, you will come, you will get your official backpack and your astronaut journal. Uh, you'll also every day have anywhere from two to four hands-on activities. So uh, get ready to make a little space on a shelf to uh, showcase all of this wonderful, uh, you know, space base exploration excellence that is going to come your way and uh, again at the end of the week there will be a graduation with a graduation certificate and an official janet's planet astronaut pin so i hope that you if you know of someone and you're listening to this uh this afternoon and you go wait a minute i should i should call i should call beverly i need to tell her and tell the teachers and students and some school groups or church groups, this is going to be a fantastic way to really kind of experiment and do such fun things. I'm pretty sure that Oopsie is planning something. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you, you heard it here first. We might have discovered a way to make ice cream using a fire extinguisher that's all i'm going to tell you yep <clears throat> so oopsie it's going to help us make ice cream with a fire extinguisher yes we have tested this out uh yes we will warn you on that day that we're going to do it step back we'll be wearing our safety goggles but uh yeah you will see us make that so again I can't encourage you enough. If you've got somebody who is curious, who's always talking about the planets or the latest rocket that's launching or the astronauts, I mean, there are 11 on the space station right now. A few of them are headed home, I believe, tomorrow, but still. Uh, if you've got this kid who loves the stars, who loves the planets, who loves to think about outer space, this is the camp for that little one and that not so little one. That second week, we've got some fantastic friends named Tom Scott who are coming down to teach cybersecurity. And in a growing field of uh, the Space Force and the Space Command, that could be something. If you've got a kid who really super loves computers and coding, we'll also be doing some things in Scratch. I'm not sure how familiar you are with that program, but it's scratch.mit.edu and you could code your own games. So lots of tech. And then we're going to have a weather meteorologist, George Bartuskas, and he's fantastic. He's going to help us build those rockets. He's going to talk to us about why weather is so important in aerospace and in aviation. And again, Dr. Lori Bradner, aka Oopsie, uh, will be leading the way she herself has her pilot's license and she will talk you through that. We've got some simulations that you will be able to fly and test your metal to see if not only you could fly a plane, but maybe even dock the SpaceX Dragon. So come for the fun, come for all of the good reasons to be inspired and to ignite some fun. After a really long 15, what by then, 16, 17 months of not a lot of togetherness. We are very much looking forward to being there in Newberry, meeting new friends, hopefully having a few of our previous cadets come back and share the wonder of space and science with all of us. And uh, again, uh, starting from as far back as 2017, I can't believe that was four years ago, I was performing at Newberry and said, hey, you know that you're in the path of totality. And so that became my connection to Newberry with helping to coordinate some events for the eclipse. You guys had quite the crowd, saw quite the spectacle there with the total solar eclipse of 2017. And uh, yes, thus began truly not only a friendship, but I have a sense of family there in Newberry. Nothing quite like uh, being on that square enjoying the children, inspiring those minds there, and just enjoying the wonderful hospitality that your town boasts. Uh, oh, I got another question here. Um, oh, what was my favorite memory of our last camp? Whew, that is so hard to answer. What was my favorite memory? Hmm. I'll tell you, there was one, 
Oh, there's so many. I'm going to go to one. So, and this was actually February of 2020. So this is more before the world shut down. Uh, astronaut Don Thomas and I made our way to the Newberry Opera House. This was sort of, kind of supposed to be the kickoff for registration for the camps in 2020 that, of course, did not happen. However, so we were there. It was February 2020. I'm announcing things. Astronaut Don is there. Everybody's getting a nice little pre-launch uh, meal, sharing that together. And in walks this kid named Jackson. He still is carrying his backpack from the previous summer. And all of a sudden, he goes, Miss Janet, I want to show you something. And he pulls out from his backpack this really flattened, like we, we did stomp rockets in 2019. He still had that paper rocket from the summer of 2019. And for me, Jackson, you will always have a place in my heart because I thought you got excited about something, my sweet. And to see that that long trajectory lasted from July of 2019 all the way to February 2020, and he was still carrying that paper rocket around. Yeah, that one moves me and is one of my very favorite, very favorite memories. Another one is a darling little one named Sammy. Uh, she also must have felt pretty engaged in the summer of 2019. Uh, I know that she purchased my children's book and she even attended some virtual classes last summer. So I'll just end with this, that truly what I come to town to do is to create a fun, excitement, energy and engagement and space is a fantastic way to do that it's a beautiful entry point for how kids get engaged in science technology engineering art and math and then further to really create relationships that endure that last for more than one week and uh you can ask just about anybody that knows me once i adopt you I don't let you go. That's a little creepy, probably sounding. <laughs> but it's like, I really, if there's ever anything I can do to further what a student wants to do in their career of STEM, STEAM, art, science, space, I stand at the ready and at your good, at your good pleasure. So go to the Newberry Opera House website check out the camp offerings, call them, talk to Jalen, talk to Heather about what we're offering and sign up that very special 100% star stuff kid that is in your life or is tangential in your life. Or maybe there's somebody that you're going, you know what, there's a kid in my neighborhood. I should really scholarship them so that they can come to this camp. And we all know that this last uh, little bit has been tough on various families. If you have the means and the wherewithal, yeah, see if there isn't somebody right in, right under your nose, right in your sphere of influence that might really, really enjoy a week at space camp with Janet's Planet. I'll end with this. Remember this. Let your minds revolve around this thought. The universe is always expanding. Let your mind do the same. And that's the view from Janet's planet. See you very soon in Newberry. Live long and prosper. Bye, guys. <laughs> Take care.